Do you know where Germany is? Yes, in Europe. I don't know anything about Germany. Do you know where Germany is? Yeah, I know. You do? Where is it? Well, it's in Europe. I know that it's all the way across the ocean. It's by, like, Britain, but past that, Russia. I know it's like in upper mainland Europe, like near France. It's by Poland. She's she gonna be there for a year, seeing driving for three days. Think of outdoorsiness, I guess. Um, fresh air. I think of boats too. It's mostly flat, not a lot of hills. When I was there, it was cold, snowing. I know they had a girl, um, I think it was president, I forgot. I can't remember her name at this point. I know the chancellor is Angela Merkel. Um, a lot of it is like a lot older than it is here. Um, red, black, and yellow. Red, black, and yellow. Black, red, yellow. In the winter, Christmas time, there is a tradition where they put a pickle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, the pickle. The pickle has an ornament on the Christmas tree. Whoever finds the pickle gets a surprise or a treat. I know a lot of um, different cultures tend to settle in Germany. It's kind of like a melting pot, similar to the U.S. Being a dancer, you'd be surprised how how much German influence is in the dancing world. You know, you always hear people coming from Germany or going to Germany and you know, different <laughs> choreographers from Germany and their interesting styles. Beer? I like to drink a lot of beer. Kind of like I, American. I, I you. And lots of beer and lots of front course. <laughs> Wiener schnitzel. And a schnitzel. You have the Oktoberfest, the beer. Yeah, the Oktoberfest. <laughs> the beer. Yeah. Oktoberfest and beer. <laughs> beer and pretzels. Oktoberfest. Lots of beer. Good beer. Good beer. Sausages. Beer. <laughs> Wiener schnitzel <laughs> No. Yeah, it is. Wiener schnitzel. <laughs> like, like hoodwinked. You know the, no. the German Wiener Wiener schnitzel? And he's the sh schnitzel, the favorite treat. Lots of fun for the kids to eat. Do you know that song? No. No, that's in hoodwinked. You know that song. That's like totally German in that's my head. That's so funny. Uh, Wiener schnitzels, regular schnitzel, um, all that great stuff. Um, sauerkraut. Kinder. Ritter sport. Schnitzel. They made like this pasta stuff, which is kind of interesting. Like, they like, took it and they like put the dough in and they went like this, like over like a grater. And then like put cheese on it. And they gave us pretzels. Beer and sausage and sauerkraut. Milka. <laughs> when I think of Germany, I think of chocolate. Really good chocolate, yeah. Schokobons, because they're good enough that we named our dog after them. <laughs> I think of him because his name is Schoko and he's named after a German chocolate. I think it's Schoko Bombs or Schoko Bones. We like the beer, we love the sausages. Oktoberfest is very fun. Kendall, I think. They make a coffee. Uh, bitte get mir nur ein Wort. Um, obviously, 99. Uh, 99 loft balloons, yeah. Specke and um, Eurovision songs, the German girl satellite. That's a good song. I know it's in English, but um, what else? Oh, Disco Pogo. Yeah, so good. Disco Pogo. I think that a lot of people also associate Germany with cars and automobiles. Cars. Mm -hmm. they, make, they make cars like a BMW, I know that. You've got uh, uh, Volkswagen. Cars. Food. Cars, BMW. yeah. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. That's good. BMWs by Punch Buggy. Have you ever had German chocolate? Yes. Can you think of any German chocolate brands? No. Uh, BMWs. BMW. Let's go with the cars. Yeah, BMW. <laughs> BMW. And uh, Volkswagen. Mercedes. Mercedes. Oh, yeah. Mercedes. I obviously think of their outfits, your, the traditional clothing. I think they're a lot more daring with their outfits. Um, so more into maybe individuality and 
much more fashionable, I think, than the U.S. Warm. Warm clothes? Is it cold there? Probably fuzzy. Long sleeve. Why? Because it's Germany. It's cold. Definitely blonde hair and blue eyes. I stereotypically associate that with Germans. I think that a lot of people think of blonde hair and blue eyes when they think of Germany. I personally think of The Sound of Music and I think of mustaches. I either see like really, really angry women or like really like blonde, really cute women. They follow the rules. Well personally, I think Germans are more disciplined than Americans. Um, in Germany, well in America, people are very close-minded. In general, Germany is a hard-working, rule-following place. They're all very polite and considerate. Um, I was really impressed with them. In my other job, I met a lot of German people and they seem to be very outgoing and very friendly. German men are some of the most attractive men. Yeah. True that. They are. Because they've got like the muscular side yeah. and then they have like the facial. They're always real friendly. Uh, but, you know, I love the accent and stuff. Uh, probably just their accents. <laughs> the uh, South is more loose, and while the North is more uh, uptight or following the rules more. Um, obviously, East and West have very different because of recent uh, Russian uh, controls. They're more of a gruff tribe people but they really aren't, you know, it's a stereotype kind of thing. I just assume that anyone whose English wasn't their first language, I just assume they wouldn't be good at English, and a lot of times they spoke English just as well as I did. Um, I also just had the very, very poor American stereotypes that they're very strict, um, maybe pale. I haven't met any of the Germans, actually, that I didn't like. I feel like most Americans probably have a rather closed-minded point of view when it comes to Germany, so a lot of them probably think about World War II and cars, maybe, and that's about it. I think that a lot of Americans view Germans as being hostile just because of the whole Holocaust, Hitler debacle, so everyone's just like, oh, they're still all Nazis, which is totally not true at all. My grandfather was killed as a POW by the Germans on a train going back after the war was declared over. The only stereotypes I would say the history of Germany is during the Nazi, during World War II. Nazis? There's the Holocaust stereotype, of course. I don't really know. I feel like we have pretty amicable relations with Germany. You never really hear about any hostility between us. Amiable. Amiable, not amicable. Thank you. I think right now it's pretty good. I've known it when it wasn't. I think it's strong. Um, the U.S. is trying to help out with the, uh, I guess, potential collapse of the Eurozone. And Germany is kind of like the leader in holding the Eurozone together. So I feel like we have a lot of the same goals in mind, just because the world economy is so interwoven that if one country or region collapses, then we're all kind of in a bad shape. Germany, yes. one of the best economies over in Europe. If you take a look at it, they're the leaders in the economic union. And Germany has shown the, probably the best advances with regards to, uh, uh, I don't know how to say this, but as far as advancing um, uh, technology, Germany's one of the leaders. And uh, you know, what we can say is that uh, they're, they're a great example. They have a huge responsibility or a, a huge part, the biggest part, I think, in in holding up the Euro, the, the, the Euro maintaining the Euro. You already got Greece, you know, <laughs> fixing to jump out, and, and, and if it wasn't for Germany, you know, I don't know what, you know, it, it wouldn't have as good a future, I don't think, you know, and it's really important. If, it, if the Euro fails, you know, then it's really going to, that's going to have, a, of course, a huge impact there, but it's gonna, we're going to see it here, too. So it's a world economy now. Right now, Germany is uh, probably the strongest country in the Euro, um, uh, trying to um, help bail out Greece. They have the best economy in the EU right now. Basically, every other country in the Europe owes them money. I don't know 
any German. <laughs> Other than nine. Do you know any German words? Nine. Ich liebe dich. And what does it mean? I love you. Mm -hmm. Yes. I know they speak German, and I don't really know what German sounds like. I know that they speak it in the sound of music. Eins, zwei, drei. Do Germans know how funny they sound to Americans? Because they sound really cute and funny. <laughs> Just saying. It makes me wonder how we sound. You know, I know, yeah, it really does. Like, them. <laughs> like, do I sound like a shark and jig and I have a friend named Hans, and he lost his hands in a hand accident. But he has hens in his backyard. Hans has hens, but no hands. Yeah, those are Germans. A lot of people think it's rough and not fluid and an ugly language, but I think it's gorgeous. I love the way that the Germans speak. It's not easy to learn German in America. You have to kind of do it on your by yourself, and not everyone has the time. Danke schön. Yeah. Do you know what that means? Thank you. A lot of people just think it's like, ugh, eh, eh, so they don't give it a chance. Um, yeah. The language is like really. Blah, 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 blah. We just say thank you, but they say, um, danke Do you know what language they speak there? What? Germany. Ich muss pipi machen gehen, nicht kaka, and ich spreche keine Deutsche, which is kind of <laughs> my most used phrase in German. I should eat and leak and sneak and do again, fleek and flark and bark and jargon. We die. Ich spreche nur ein wenig Deutsch. Mein Lieblingsfarbe ist blau und ich bin ein Schauspieler und Tanzer. Meet the bing, meet the boom, meet the bing, bang, bing, bang, boom. Oh, how the sicker hurts das Deutsche Bahn. And just because Germany is like on the rise as a as a very important global power, um, it's definitely important to learn. How do you think I'll change? What kind of stuff about the culture do you think might rub off on me? What I don't do you think want I'll experience? You to change. Um, I hope you don't change much. Um, I hope you. Yeah, I don't want you to change. I think you're gonna be um, a lot more in tune with nature, just because that's kind of like the European way of life. Um, more into recycling, um, composting maybe. Yes, you're gonna wear different clothes. <laughs> What kind of clothes do they wear in Germany? I have no idea, but you're gonna wear different things. I think you're gonna be more of a global citizen, if that's even possible. And um, hopefully you'll come back with an accent. That would be cool. Eden Kirchen. No. Yeah, Eden Kirchen. Um. Well, I think being raised in America kind of um, limits your global perspective just because the U.S. is so large that we don't really know anything else other than the U.S. Um, so again, I definitely didn't think much of Germany before I went there. It wasn't, it just like wasn't that important of a factor in my life. I feel like if I met someone from Germany that would change my perspective, of course, because they'd show me that Germany is more about just the stereotypes that we have, but I haven't.